Okay, our next talk of the session is by Satoshi Kura on automated verification of higher order probabilistic programs via a dependent refinement type system. Okay, thank you. So uh, this talk is about uh, automated verification framework uh, for uh, higher order uh, probabilistic programs. And uh, uh, this framework uh, can uh, verify uh, several properties of uh, probabilistic programs uh, in a uniform uh, way. And uh, yeah, so the workflow of our framework uh, is shown in this diagram. And uh, in this talk, uh, when I mention uh, CPS, uh, it means a continuation passing style. Uh, it's not a, a cyber physical system from the <laughs> previous talk. So <laughs> keep in mind. <laughs> so uh, in this diagram, uh, uh, the top left part uh, is uh, based on the existing work, uh, but uh, the other part uh, are our new development. And uh, specifically, uh, we propose a new refinement type system uh, for the generalized uh, higher order fixed point logic. And uh, we also propose an algorithm uh, for type checking and inference. So uh, I'm going to explain uh, the workflow uh, following uh, this diagram. So uh, let's, uh, yeah, first uh, I will give a learning example. As a learning example, uh, we consider uh, a probabilistic program of random work. Here, uh, uh, x uh, is the current position, and for each step, uh, uh, the next position uh, is uh, sampled from uh, the uniform distribution. And uh, as a specification, uh, we consider uh, the expected cost. Specifically, uh, we want to verify that uh, if the initial position is one, uh, then uh, the expected number of steps uh, is at most six. Okay, uh, then uh, I would like to explain uh, the top left part of uh, this diagram. Uh, here, uh, we apply a, a CPS transformation uh, to the given program. Uh, then uh, we obtain a term uh, like this. Uh, here, uh, we use uh, non-negative uh, real numbers uh, as the answer type. And uh, since uh, we obtain uh, a pure term uh, after the CPS transformation, uh, we can think of uh, this uh, as a formula of uh, the generalized higher order fixed point logic. And uh, moreover, uh, it is known uh, that uh, the expected cost of the original program uh, is equal to the CPS transformed term uh, applied to a certain form of uh, continuation. Actually, uh, this idea can be generalized uh, to several other properties. Uh, this is because uh, these properties are uh, instances of uh, uh, what we call uh, generic weakest preconditions. Uh, so here, uh, the notion of uh, weakest preconditions are generalized uh, using uh, category theory. And uh, using this category theoretic framework, uh, it is uh, proved that uh, applying, uh, applying a CPS transformation uh, is essentially the same as uh, computing uh, the weakest precondition. And uh, this holds for various kinds of uh, effectual programs. And uh, our framework uh, supports uh, this uh, generic weakest preconditions. So uh, this is why uh, our framework can verify is uh, several properties uh, in a uniform framework. Okay, then uh, next, uh, I'll explain uh, how to give a specification uh, as a refinement type. Uh, so as an example, uh, consider the specification uh, for the random work program. Uh, so since uh, the CPS transformation gives the expected cost, uh, we can uh, describe this specification as a specification uh, for uh, the CPS transformed term. And uh, this uh, specification can be naturally expressed uh, using uh, a refinement type uh, like this. So uh, now uh, we can think of uh, this refinement type uh, as a specification for the original program. Uh, next, uh, I'll explain uh, uh, the type checking uh, an algorithm for type checking and inference. Uh, so uh, we extend uh, the standard algorithm for uh, type checking and uh, inference uh, for refinement type system. 
Uh, the standard algorithm uh, consists of uh, three steps, uh, which I'm going to explain. Uh, in, uh, so uh, here, uh, to explain the type checking algorithm, uh, let's, uh, let's consider uh, a very simple uh, program as shown here. Uh, in, in step one, uh, we infer uh, simple types uh, by applying uh, the famous uh, Findlay-Miller type inference algorithm. And uh, then uh, we obtain uh, a, ta uh, sorry, uh, a simple type uh, for each subterm of uh, the program. Uh, for example, or in, in this uh, example, uh, we obtain uh, int to int uh, as a type of uh, this uh, function term. Uh, next, uh, we generate a template for refinement types. Here, uh, we want to replace uh, simple types uh, with refinement types, but uh, we don't know what formula to use uh, to refine uh, simple types. So uh, we, we use uh, predicate variables uh, instead of uh, unknown formulas. Uh, this gives us a template for uh, yeah, template of uh, refinement types. And finally, uh, we generate uh, constraints on uh, predicate variables. Uh, so uh, here, basically, uh, what we need to do is to apply a uh, typing rules to uh, refinement type template. In this example, uh, we obtain uh, three constraints uh, on predicate variable P1 and P2. And uh, if these constraints are satisfiable, then uh, we can conclude that uh, this program uh, is well typed. Okay, so oh, this is uh, the standard algorithm for uh, ordinary lambda calculus. But here, uh, we want to uh, uh, extend it to support uh, the generalized higher order fixed point logic. Uh, when, when type checking uh, generalized HFL, uh, there are two cases uh, where we cannot uh, use uh, ordinary predicate variables, namely uh, typing rules for fixed points and uh, integration operators. Uh, so uh, we consider uh, extending the class of constraints uh, by adding uh, two new classes of uh, predicate variables, uh, that is, uh, admissible and uh, integrable uh, predicate variables. So, but uh, yeah, I'll explain uh, details on this point uh, later in this talk. So, uh, so yeah, I, uh, let me uh, explain the last part of uh, this diagram. Uh, so, in the last part of uh, our framework, uh, we solve uh, constraints on predicate variables. Uh, a set of CHC constraints uh, is satisfiable uh, if there exists an assignment that satisfies uh, these constraints. And uh, the satisfiability of uh, the constraint uh, implies uh, that uh, yeah, yeah, the program satisfies the uh, uh, specification. And uh, since uh, we, we are considering uh, the extended uh, class of uh, constraints, uh, we also need to extend a uh, uh, CHC solver to support uh, the extended CHC. And uh, I will explain this point uh, later, uh, too. So, yeah, so now uh, uh, I will explain uh, more details on uh, our new development. Uh, so, uh, so uh, in this work, uh, uh, we focused on uh, verif automated verification of uh, probabilistic programs. But uh, in theory, uh, our framework uh, is more general uh, because uh, it can verify uh, effective programs uh, in general. Uh, and uh, as a specification, uh, we can verify uh, properties uh, uh, described by uh, the generic weakest precondition, uh, which includes uh, several properties of uh, probabilistic programs. And uh, this generality is achieved uh, using uh, category theory, and uh, the soundness uh, of uh, our refinement type system is also proved uh, using uh, category theory. And, uh, in the design of uh, our refinement type system, uh, the key point is uh, how to reason about uh, fixed points and uh, integration operators uh, that, uh, yeah, in, in our generalized uh, HFL. 
So uh, to reason about a fixed point, uh, we use uh, the Scott induction. But uh, unlike uh, the ordinary uh, typing rule for uh, recursion, uh, our typing rule uh, explicitly requires uh, the admissibility of uh, the formula phi. Uh, this, this is uh, very important uh, to ensure soundness, uh, especially when uh, we re reason about uh, uh, probabilistic programs. Uh, and uh, when type checking a fixed point, uh, uh, we want to ensure that uh, predicate variables uh, for fixed point uh, are instantiated uh, by uh, admissible predicates. So uh, this motivates us to uh, introduce a new type of uh, predicate variables, uh, which we call uh, admissible predicate variables. Okay, uh, next, uh, to reason about uh, continuous distributions, uh, our generalized uh, HFL has uh, integration operators, uh, which is an operator that takes a function and returns uh, the integration of the function. To reason about uh, integration operator, uh, we, we propose a, a typing group for uh, the integration operator. And the idea of this rule uh, is very simple. Uh, we apply uh, the monotonicity of uh, integration to reason about uh, upper bound. Uh, but uh, this typing rule uh, also motivates us to uh, consider a new type of uh, predicate variables, uh, which we call uh, integrable uh, predicate variables. Our, uh, our tool is uh, implemented uh, as an extension of uh, an existing tool. The original tool is uh, designed for the ordinary lambda calculus, uh, but uh, here we want to uh, extend it uh, to the generalized HFL. To, uh, to support uh, typing rules for uh, fixed points and uh, integration operators, uh, we first uh, extend the class of constraints uh, by adding uh, admissible and uh, integrable uh, predicate variables. Uh, then uh, we, we extend the constraint generator uh, to support uh, typing rules for fixed points and integration mm -hmm. operator. Uh, also, uh, we, we need to uh, extend the CHC solver uh, to support uh, the extended uh, CHC. The key idea of this extension is to consider uh, templates for uh, admissible and uh, integrable uh, predicate <coughs> variables. Uh, these templates uh, ensure that uh, uh, these predicate variables are instantiated uh, to uh, admissible predicates and uh, integrable predicates, uh, respectively. And uh, we conducted uh, experiments uh, using our implementation. Uh, we collected uh, uh, benchmarks uh, from uh, existing literature uh, ranging over uh, several kinds of uh, problems. Our implementation was uh, able to uh, uh, solve uh, many of uh, these benchmarks. Uh, this is an example from the benchmarks. Uh, this benchmark uh, contains uh, the random walk program that I showed uh, at the beginning of this talk. For each benchmark, uh, specifications are given uh, only for uh, top-level uh, functions, uh, which means that uh, our implementation must infer uh, internal invariants uh, automatically. For example, uh, in this benchmark, uh, the specification is given only for the case where x is 1, and uh, technically, uh, this specification itself is uh, not an invariant. However, uh, our implementation was uh, able to infer uh, an invariant, uh, which is uh, defined for arbitrary x. Okay, so uh, this is the summary of uh, this talk. Uh, we proposed a uniform verification framework for a higher order probabilistic program uh, used, uh, by considering a refinement type system for the generalized uh, HFL. And uh, our implementation is available uh, on GitHub, uh, so yeah. Uh, that's all for my talk. Uh, thanks for your attention.
Hi, Marco Gabardi from Boston University. Yeah. Thanks for the talk. Uh, is, I have just a curiosity more than a real question. I saw that in the benchmark, uh, mm -hmm. you were timing out uh, for the coupon collector. Uh, yeah. Can you explain why? Because uh, I don't see uh, really yeah, what I makes it more difficult than the other. Yeah, I, th I think it's simply because uh, uh, in, this in this benchmark, uh, the program contains a, a, a algebraic uh, data type, like a list, uh, which uh, our theory uh, doesn't support. So in an, uh, the problem is handling the algebraic data type. It's not a real, sorry. The problem is in handling the algebraic data type rather than in uh, the constraint themselves. Did I understand that right? Uh, uh, so, so, sorry, could you, could you say again? <laughs> Uh, so the problem is the algebraic data uh, type. Y y yes, yes. Thanks. Hi, uh, Marcus from NYU. Um, I'm wondering if you've considered uh, interoperability between your approach and conventional theorem provers, and especially for some of these benchmarks which are failing or timing out, if uh, relegating goals to, for example, a uh, theorem prover um, might help. Uh, so what? what? Um, for example, you, you, you're generating goals with your refinement type system, which I think is very interesting. And I'm wondering, you know, instead of just giving those to SMT solver, if uh, you think it might be possible to um, give goals to, for example, it, it, prove it in Cock or something instead. Oh, that, that's interesting. Uh, I, yeah. So, yeah, may, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that, that's an interesting direction. So, yeah. Okay. We can talk about this after as well. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Alejandro Aguirre from Orhus. Uh, nice talk and work. You mentioned uh, upper bounds for cost. Have you thought uh, about? Yes. You, you mentioned upper bounds for cost. Have you thought about lower bounds? Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, reason about lower bounds is uh, uh, one of uh, future work. <laughs> Okay. So, thanks. Yeah. Okay, let's thank our speaker again.